look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to be talking to you about In this reaction video Is about the condition of our children How um, maniacal they can act And I'm going to show you how women are the problem for that especially single mothers so let's go ahead and get into this without no further ado give me one second as i pull on your screen please Turn it a little bit. all right let's get it you know what y'all fucking kids out here fucked up you know how you say you you know the saying was you gotta love the kids you love the kids you know I can't stand y'all motherfuckers. I have just realized that. You rude, you wrong, you disrespectful, you ungrateful. That is true. A lot of these children are running around right now just as rude as they can be. They do not respect their elders. It's because they're not being taught to respect the elders. You're supposed to train up a child in the way that they should go, and it won't depart from the, the knowledge that you pass on to it. The parents today, especially single mothers, and I have to talk about the single mothers because over 80% or 75% of children are being raised in single parent homes that are ran by their mothers. And it's not always because the man did not want to be in the relationships because statistics have also shown that black men are the most involved with their children. This is, this is talking about that certain subculture of woman in our community that chooses to sleep around with Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook have multiple baby daddies, own government assistance, and would never learn from their mistakes because they keep going out and having more and more children. Well, those children that they are giving birth to are becoming maniacal creatures of the ghetto. If you want to call it that, they are the ones that are mostly in these streets. They are the ones who are mostly game banging. They are the ones who are most likely thugging. They are the ones who are most likely robbing people, breaking in people's homes. And I did a show uh, yesterday, I believe, about how many serial deleters, people who walk around unaliving people, who prey on people to unalive, they come from single mother households. So a lot of these children are not getting the proper training and education that they're supposed to have due to the fact that we have lackadaisical mothers, women who are only mothers in title, but not mothers in action. They will rather let their electronics raise the child. They would rather let Hulu streaming um, platforms raise the child. They do not monitor their children when it comes to their social media apps. They don't do anything like that. All they care about is this certain subculture of black women is to get their lashes did, their nails did, their hair weave did, go to a pool party or two and do things like that. They are too lazy to raise their children. They don't have the nerves to raise their children. Like the people used to say, you're getting on my last nerve. Most single mothers in the hood always have that condition. In other words, they don't want to be bothered with the responsibility of the consequence that they have brought into their own lives from sleeping around. That's what that is. This lady right here remind me of them old school grandmothers that talk kind of with some profanity and that face and how she acts. That energy reminds me of that. And that's what, but she's right. Do anyone disagree with her? Let's keep going. You think life is a fucking joke. You don't want to work, you lazy. But I fought your fucked up ass parents for trying to give you everything that they didn't have to compensate for their lack of judgment, parenting skills, and everything else. I am pissed. We sit up here and we ooh and ah about this gangster rap. Who got the dopest fucking bars when you're threatening someone else's life? You're having videos at a grave site that someone else's child was killed by your no. Now, if you don't know what she's talking about, for example, she's talking about. Julio Fulio, I think he's in Jacksonville, Florida. It is not just him alone. You got rappers who are gang banging now, who are actually deleting other 
rappers who are, who belong to other gangs. I think King Von is what they accused him of and stuff like that too, allegedly and stuff, right? But they are bragging about taking someone's lives in their records. They are saying that they are smoking them. Uh, I think Tuka was the name of one guy who got smoked. And if um, so, what happens is it say your name is Johnny, and your opposition, your adversary ends your life. They'll make a song talking about I'm smoking on Johnny, as if they just smoking you to like um reef. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. But now these rappers are actually going to grave sites of their victims, making videos at the grave sites where they got their tombstone laying right beside it, disrespecting the dead person inside of the coffin, inside of the tomb, and also causing further damage and harm to that victim's family. Our younger generation is uncaring, unloving. They are in need of direction. They are in need of their father. So if a woman does not want to be submissive and feminine and allow a man, not just a man, but a good man of great character and values to lead that household, then she should just shut her damn legs and just go or swallow or swallow or use contraceptive. Stop bringing children into this world to where they're not being taught properly. And as a result of them not being taught properly, they are destroying the community. A lot of this is on the woman's shoulders. A lot of it. Let's keep going. By your noise making of your mouth. Or just by affiliation with you. Or even by your own hands. This is insane. We done lost our damn mind. Black Lives Matter ain't mattering when we got some dumbass shit like this going on. But the only thing that we can pretend to do is sit up here and worry about E. Kane and what the hell she said and how we want to boycott her, how she can lose a, a million followers. And we can't even get a million damn likes up about this gangster rap and a bunch of foolishness that your in a bunch of ingrate, ungrateful kids got going on. I want to suck every last one of you in the fucking face. Get your ass up and talk to your dumb ass motherfucking kids. Better yet, talk to somebody need to talk to your ass. Stop letting YouTube and the social media babysit your fucking kids. To, matter of fact, if they're under 18, they shouldn't even have social media. I agree. I know that seems harsh, but I agree. I'm going to tell you why. Because look at what people are allowing their children to look at on social media. Now, I know you cannot prevent them from experiencing the world because there will be some dumbass coming here and say like well you know this and that and this and that that's not what i'm saying i'm saying as your as a parent you do have a responsibility to shelter them as much as possible that is in reason i'm not saying do not allow them to experience the negatives of this world but at least equip them for what they're going to see outside that household you know and it's okay to manage your child's social media a lot of things have accessibility. I'm saying a lot of perverts, a lot of dangerous influences has accessibility to your children through that cell phone. Through that cell phone. And it's easier and easier for them to get to it because a cell phone you can fit in the palm of your hand. They can sneak and do that easy. You understand what I'm saying? I think if you believe, and it's all right, but if a parent decides that their child is too young to have social media, or things like that, there's absolutely nothing wrong. And it ain't nobody else's damn business because everybody else be like, oh, you're just hard on the child. You're being too strict on the child. Really? Have you seen the results of not being strict on these present-day children? Can you honestly tell me that the lack of discipline and the lack of guidance and the lack of being strict has bettered our children in our black community? Because what I see right now is a free fall. I see everyone doing whatever they want to do. And then they get hit with consequences. Then they want mama to bail them out. And mama do it. So they can go out and do it again. Tell me if I'm wrong. We need to have order. We need to have structure. 
and we need to have firmness when it comes to raising children. And you don't have to have children to think like that. If you're a religious person, even the scriptures would demand structure and firmness and strictness of a child as well as loving that child, okay? So you don't have to, don't be a person who don't have a child and feel bad because somebody who has children is telling you that you don't know what you're talking about, okay? Apparently, they don't know what they're talking about if they have children that are in and out of jail themselves, if they're not raising their children properly, okay? So it's okay to think like that. For those of you who don't have children, it's okay to think like that because they're going to be opposition to that, okay? Let's keep going. If you, if you people, please, if you people don't wake up, sweetie, they want to say, you know, it's in the last days or what? Jesus, can you please just come on? <laughs> because all of you, it just done lost your, I'm lost for fucking words. I'm so sick of your kids. Your kids is nothing but an all tell sign of who you are. And she right. A lot of these children are reflecting the lack of attention that they receive from their parents. You get me? I got one more thing to show you. Hold on one second. One second. One second. Give me a moment or two. I want you to see another thing. Women tend to want to quickly make their children grow up by making them look like adults when they're too young. Let's get into it. Oh, yo. Her daddy is mad because I agree to let her get her name repairs. She 11 years old, but she's about to be 12 next month. So she 11 years old. The mother allowed her daughter to get her navel pierced about to reach 12. And she don't see nothing wrong with that. Some of you modern day women see that there is nothing wrong with that. Traditional minded people will see a lot wrong with that. It's like I see some of these young girls who have mothers who are single mothers will allow their 10 year old child to get piercings in their ears, wear lipstick, a 10 year old. And they will also let these children dress like young adults. And what do I mean by that? Well, they are walking around looking like young hoes. And I mean that exactly the way that you hear that. A 10, 11, 12-year-old child dressing some biker or yoga pants and stuff like that. Almost so tight you can see what she got underneath that. That is sickening. And you see it all the time, especially in the neighborhoods out here, man. It's nasty, man. And the, all these, these um perverts looking at your kid. And then you also wonder why your child is becoming pregnant at an early age before they even get out of high school. You wonder why your child is catching STDs around 14, 15 years old. And I had did a, a show showing that um, a lot of adolescents are catching gonorrhea and chlamydia around the ages of 14 to 29. Wonder why. Wonder why. Let's keep going. I want to get her neighbor pierced before her birthday. I don't see the problem with letting her get her neighbor pierced. It's just a neighboring like it don't mean anything it's just a piece of jewelry in her navel like i don't find nothing wrong with that she don't find nothing wrong with it that's the problem what's wrong with it is what's wrong with it is you don't see nothing wrong with it <laughs> Boy, we're in some trouble here anyway you let me know what you think about this content man i'll be getting right back at you pretty soon at a slow start this morning i get at you now take it easy now you hear? Ooh, ooh, ooh.